Hey guys, it's Mark. It's um, April 1st. Happy Fool's Day. I hope you had a uh, good Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, I um, hope you had a happy Sunday. Um, I'm going to put this video on a blog post I'm going to do, and it has to, it's, it has to do with uh, what you think um, what you think and focus on, and that, that becomes your reality. And I uh, liken it to a couple of examples, real-world examples, um, and uh, without getting metaphysical or spiritual or too deep, uh, I relate it to a couple of things. One is uh, for all you entrepreneurs out there, whether you're a one-man shop or two-man shop or have a you know, a sole proprietor or have a shop and you have eight to ten employees. Um, I want, then it started with an idea. You know, it was just a very basic idea. This is what I want to do, you know. And, uh, you know, so it started with an idea and that idea said, well, you know, it said to you, well, first you got to do this, first, then you got to do that. And so each idea led to an action, took an action, which led to another idea, which led to another action. And it had a snowball effect to got to the point where you are where you are today. Um, and you, you are to, you are where you are today with your business. If you're an entrepreneur, uh, and it all started with uh, a thought, with with whatever you're thinking. I want to do this. I want to be a painter. I want to do whatever it is. So that's what I mean about the power of our, or what you think, so shall become. Be, um, the thoughts lead to actions, and and this is both in in a positive way and a negative way. You know, on a on a smaller scale or a, um, maybe a, I might say a little bit negative uh, scale, I talk about um, many of us have had a bad work experience or a bad job or boss, something about we hated a, a particular, in our past, a particular job or boss or somebody you had to work with. And uh, if it was bad enough, you, you find yourself thinking about that person or situation day in and day out. And... Um, and in the what relating to the power of thinking, you kept thinking about it until uh, something happened, and uh, you either quit, you, you found another job, or you got fired, um, or or you just did something to resolve the situation. You you create a situation where you stopped working with the person that was bugging you. But my point is, again, um, what you thought shall shall become. Uh, you hated a particular situation, um, and you did something to change it. And, you, and that change took place when the, pa the when the pain from whatever you're thinking about became greater than the the thought of change. You know, uh, some people, um, you know, they moan every day about the job; they don't like it, but they'll stay there for years un uh, unless the pain of that job becomes so bad um, they're going to either quit, get fired. Maybe inadvertently, you know, uh, but they're going to create stuff. You know, their their mind's going to create a situation where maybe they're going to have such a negative attitude that they're going to get fired or whatever. But that's what I mean about what you think so shall become. Uh, and you could use that um, in a very powerful way. Um, again, it, it's funny. Um, I right now I'm taking the energy that I had used and and had have and had used uh, to do real estate again um, y you know it's it's a pretty cool story from my end I, I started my first house as a, a two thousand dollar house in the hood of New Haven uh, it was just a shell of a house and then the shell wasn't even that good respect I bought that with no credit no money of my own um, never had a hammer in my hand no knowledge of rehab um, and 20, 22 years later, here I am um, trying to replace my rental income and my my real estate income with internet marketing because things have changed for me. You know, as you get older, you change. But my point is, all I knew about back then was if I could buy a house, each multifamily house would generate from four to four hundred to a thousand dollars. That's all I knew, and I kept saying, "Well, so I so I averaged it six hundred dollars. If I had four houses, that's twenty four hundred dollars a month." And at the time, that was like that was great money to me. Um, and that's all I knew, and that's and so every action, every thought I had. Uh, lent itself to that to the point where I got to where I had to I did what I had to do to fulfill that um, 
you know, and that's what I mean by the power of what, what you think so shall become, the power of focus. And everybody that's got a business, it's the same principle. And in a day-to-day -day activity, you know, you could even unfortunately relate it, um, you know, if you're in a bad situation with your spouse or whatnot, you, you know, you, you, you think about it and you think about it and you think about it and you're going to make either a change happen, um, something's going to happen. Um, whether it, how about a hobby if you're you got a hobby you're very passionate about you think about it, you think about it, you um, you find yourself um, meeting people who have that same hobby you, you find friends that share that passion whatever you think so shall become um, now and and so people ask me you know I had a conversation over the um, yesterday with somebody you know, again, it started with just small talk, talk, you know, somehow somebody mentioned something about whole life insurance and, you know, what determined sure. The bottom line is there I, I found, you know, and it wasn't inappropriate whatsoever, but I, that conversation eventually re led to, um, you know, well, you know, um, taking, taking the money from a term life and investing it. And uh, so, so there I was. Uh, because it's what I think. All I think about now is this internet marketing. Um, so I, I was saying how what I think about owning rental property because it was the person's goal to own some rental property. And I gave them my honest opinion about it. Um, because now in this day and age, uh, somebody asked me about it. I'm like, well, take a $100,000 house. If you could find a $100,000 multifamily house, first of all, it's not going to be in good shape. It needs work. But you, you need, let's just say you could find a house that's livable, a multifamily for $30,000. You need 30% 30, 30 down in today's environment. So 30 grand is tied up. And that for that price range in this area, um, it's going to be a two family, not a three family. So in a perfect world, you might get four or five hundred dollar cash flow from that. That's what they're fully rented. Um, so let's say it's five hundred dollars. Someone say that's all I want. That's that's fine with me. Well, what happens when the person that one floor doesn't pay and you have an eviction, um, and that person doesn't pay for three months? So you lose that cash flow for three months. Then they move out, or maybe it takes four months. You don't know how to do evictions. You have to hire an attorney. Maybe it takes several thousands of dollars. Um, you know, there's a there's a lot of things. Um, now that five hundred dollars a month that you make, um, what are you going to do with that? Are you going to just spend it? So now you got thirty thousand dollars of your money tied up, and if you're spending that money, what is the return? Uh, sure, you're making that return, but you're not paying down your mortgage. And most people don't want to. You know, I tell people to go through the headaches you have to go through to own rental property and to make the money and not reap from it, they're like, well, I want it for appreciation. Well, so you're going to put up the headaches you have and now you're not going to spend any of the money you you make, um, should you make money. Um, I, I just don't get it. For when I was younger, it made sense. My wife was that. I used to. Th I used to think. Even ten years ago, I was thinking, man, I, I don't understand how a white collar person could do this because I was the one running around fixing everything, and that makes sense if that's your world. Uh, now I'm 53. I don't want to be a, a handyman. I don't want. I don't. I take the calls, and all I do, I take my calls from my tenants, and I make a call. I don't do anything else with it, and I make less cash flow from it. Um, but I'm able to do what I do what I want. I'm living the lifestyle that I want. I just want that lifestyle. Um, I see people making a lot more money uh, with internet marketing, and it makes sense to me a lot, 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 lot more. Does it make sense to me? Yes, a lot more. <laughs> um, you know, people are scared of investing a hundred dollars a month in an hour a day, five days a week, um, and there's people that are doing that that are making. I don't even want to talk numbers to you because it, it makes it seem like it's unbelievable. But there are people making ridiculous amounts of money from doing that. New people. Now I'm going to say I'm going to say right here that I am not making ten thousand dollars a month. I am not making ten thousand dollars a month yet. Do I have any doubt that I will? I believe and I will focus and I will make much more than that because it's not me. It's a system that I'm following. Other people are doing it. 
if I'm not doing it right now, I already know why I'm not. I'm focusing too much on the wrong things. Um, and so for me, that's the first step. It is. is to go through the steps I need to do for um, creating more sales. And why it's, it's uh, on a personal, it's because uh, almost like I don't think money should come that easy. So there's things I'm working on a personal level to change things for me, but um, because I personally don't think money should be made that easily. I've got to get over that because that, it's, it's literally that easy. You're getting people to your, to your link that want what you have to um, sell, and they're they're buying it, um, you know. And maybe I, I, you know, a person I don't think I um, deserve. I don't think yeah, I'm I'm working on the problem of thinking money should come that easy is, is not right. Um, so that's my flaw. That's my hang up, and why my income isn't greater than it should be right now. But I'm aware of it, and I'm working on it, and um, it's just a matter of time for me. Uh, so. Hope this is a little bit helpful, a little bit long, um, but, you know, what can I say? See you tomorrow. Bye.